I'm going to be demonstrating my um, clinical skill of inserting an NG tube. The first thing I'm going to do is verify my provider's orders. The next thing I'm going to do is um, review the medical record and make sure there's no nasal obstructions or um, any nasal problems at all and also make sure they're not any anticoagulation therapy. Next, I'm going to perform hand hygiene, wash my hands. I'm going to gather um, all of my supplies that I'm going to be needing today. I'm going to head into my patient's room. I'm going to introduce myself and I'm going to ensure patient privacy as well. Um, identify them with two patient identifiers, their name and date of birth. I'm going to explain the procedure. I'm going to let them know that I am inserting a NG tube into their nostril, into their stomach. Next, I'm going to um, take their vital signs to make sure everything's okay. I'm going to assess their cough and their gag reflex. Next thing I'm gonna do is assess the patency of their nose. I'm gonna have them cover one of their nostrils, breathe in and out, the same thing with the other one. Whichever one is more patent is the one I'm going to be inserting the tube into. Next, I'm gonna wash my hands, perform hand hygiene, and I'm gonna put on a clean set of gloves. Now I'm going to get my tube and some tape. Okay. Um, I'm going to measure the tube on my patient starting from the tip of the nose to the ear and then down to the xiphoid process of their sternum. And I'm gonna mark that with tape. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my irrigation to have right over here. I'm going to get 10 milliliters of water. I'm going to insert that into my tubing. Now I'm going to um, get some lubricant and I'm going to have me loops and use my soap. Um, have it on here. And I'm going to, the tip of it, I'm going to dip it in the lubricant. Okay. I'm going to let my patient know now that I am ready to start the procedure. So I'm going to have them bend their um, head towards their neck and their chest their head towards their chest. I'm gonna let them know, um, take small sips of water I'm gonna be giving them and swallowing while I'm putting it down um, their nostril. I'm also gonna let them know to make sure they're breathing through their mouth. So I'm gonna insert the tube into their nostril to the back of the throat, back towards the ear. When I get to 25 centimeters, I'm gonna stop, which is gonna be around the esophagus and listen for air. If there's air, I know it's in the trachea. If not, I'm gonna continue to my marker. Okay, once I get to the marker, I'm going to get a pen light and a tongue blade and check to make sure the placement is right. I'm going to get a piece of tape and tape the tube to their cheek. Now I'm going to get my syringe again, I'm going to aspirate the stomach fluids. And then I would then check the pH of it. If it is below 5.5, I know it's in the stomach. If it was above 5.5, above 6, I would know that it went somewhere else and that's not the right placement. So next I'm going to take a marker to mark where I the tube stopped and now I'm going to secure it to your nose so I'm going to take about 10 centimeters of um, adhesive hypoallergenic tape and I'm going to rip it about five centimeters down and I'm gonna replace this with the um, piece of tape that I stuck around their nose. 
without pulling on the tube at all. And then you just wrap the um, two pieces that I ripped around the tubing to secure it in place. angles. Okay, I'm also going to tape the end of the tube to their gown with a piece of tape as well. That's going to be their gown right over here. I'm also going to label it with my initials, the time, the date. Right. Next, I'm gonna order an x-ray to verify that the NG tube did in fact make it to the stomach and not anywhere else that could cause problems. I'm now gonna perform hand hygiene and I'm going to put on a new set of gloves. I'm going to perform oral care to my patient, brush your teeth, then with a warm towel and some soap, I'm gonna wash their nostrils. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is make sure they're in a comfortable position. Um, before I make sure they're in a comfortable position and before I inserted the tube, I also made sure that they were in a high Fowler's position when I inserted the tube. Um, Make sure they're in a comfortable position. The call light's within reach. Um, their things are within reach. The side rails are raised. The bed is lowered. I'm then going to take off my gloves, wash my hands, and then I'm gonna document um, the x-ray confirmation. I'm gonna document how many centimeters the tube went into my patient. And I'm also going to document how the patient took the procedure and how they reacted. And then they should be good to go.